Next one is again gigantic, that is Narasimha. Now, in the avatars they say only three avatars are full avatars, Sampurna avatars. One is Narasimha, one is Rama and third is Krishna. So that is not universally accepted. Madhavacharya has written that all avatars are, from the yogic level it is true. Narasimha is the first time where the Shakti is now Lakshmi. From now on all the Shaktis will be incarnations of Lakshmi. Whether Sita or so the Shakti is now Lakshmi. The Shakti has shifted from Budevi because Lakshmi is a more refined, more abundant version. Budevi is still at an earthly level. If it is still at an earthly level, it means that the temptations of the earthly level happen. When the Varahavatar happened, you know that because he rescued, he rescued that Budevi from the cosmic ocean. They had a child, you know, and years and years and many many generations later, Krishna had to kill that child. It was called Narakasura. Because the, the creation of that child did not happen at the optimal level of consciousness. When you manifest into a body, this is the problem with the avatar, when you manifest into a body, the limitations of the body start sticking to the consciousness. And there are many stories where Vishnu refuses to leave the Kurma form or the Matsya form or the Vara form or even the Narasimha form and then Shiva has to come and cut. Of course, those are stories made up by the Shaivas to show that our God is more strong, but that is not the point. The point is it is actually a danger. When you manifest in a human form, then the Vasana Samaskara or, the, or any kind of form, the minute the consciousness takes shape, takes rupa, then the limitations of that start pulling it, start pulling it, start pulling it. So Narasimha is again, now this is, Narasimha is like the ultimate obstacle breaker. Whenever there is an impossible situation that even Vinayaka can't help, even Ganpati can't help, the sadhana is for nursing. You can do the nursing. If you see that Vigna Karta won't help you, Vigna Harta won't help you, then you have to go to nursing. He is the only power in the universe that can break impossible situation. And Lakshmi Narasimha is really wonderful for people Householder types, you know, people who are married and families. You know, Lakshmi Narasimha is one of the best sort of things to do because that is a family energy. It is a, of course, you know that Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha. Hiranyaksha was the previous Varahatar ne Maraya, and then Hiranyakashipu was his younger brother. The two brothers that the Avatars killed, Hiranyaksha was the first, he killed him. Hiranyaksha means golden yaksha. So over there, straight away in the name, you can see how the classical Hinduism is overpowering. <laughs> Hiranyaksha, you know, is like... And then Hiranyakashipu was... Hiranyakashipu was the next. And their grandchild turned out to be... Prahlad's grandchild turned out to be Mahabali, which is the next avatar. So one family Onam gave... Huh? Ah, Onam is celebrated. We come, no? we are all Mahabali's descendants. Malayali is all of us. <laughs> Mahabali ke descendant. Once a year he is allowed back to check that his people are doing well. So we put on a good show for him. <laughs> but think of that Rinanu Bandhan that one family had. Three times Vishnu had to incarnate just to deal with <laughs> people in this one family. And Mahabali, if you notice the Mahabali incarnation, Vamana Avatar, it is also a double incarnation because there is another form, Trivikram. You will see sculptures where Vishnu's leg is right up in the sky. One leg has covered the earth, the other leg has covered the sky and now there is no other place. So he puts the third leg on to. You never worship the Vamana form, even though it is a Brahman Brahmachari way, because God has come as a beggar. Mahabali was a perfect king. He was an Asura, but he was perfect in all ways. Just to help Indra and the Devas to prevent them from being thrown out of heaven, that is why Vishnu came and he came begging so that you will never ever see a Vamana Murti be worshipped. But it also shows that certain times, especially for those who are in Brahmacharya and those who become Brahmacharis just before they go into becoming initiated and becoming sannyasi, they have to go and beg and things like that. So it is very specific. Usually if it is ever worshipped, it is worshipped as Trivikrama. That also is not recommended because Trivikrama form is too powerful. That 
aspect of God is never worship. It is only for internal service. Have you ever seen? Have you ever heard of Vamana Murthy ka mandir? Have you ever heard of Trivikrama ka mandir? Hoi nahi sakta. Both are contraindicated. They cannot have personal relationship and the energy cannot work through you. When you worship a God, a form of God, the energy must work in your body. It must not working in the body. I'll explain that later when I say how to do it. So again there are certain, Matsya Avatar you never see, no temples dedicated to Matsya Avatar. Lots and lots of temples, Varamurti, in fact we should have more Varamurti temples. At a time when India was surrounded, full of Varamurti temples, we were the richest country in the world. Because it is a very very positive, so today that just that Tirupati Balaji is carrying that energy, <laughs> all the burden is on him. You know? But more Varamurti temples would really be helpful, really really it would be helpful. Varamurti is very very good to have in home, to do puja, make pilgrimage. From material abundance point of view, from health point of view, from strength point of view. But you really want power, that's all. You really want willpower, breakthrough obstacles, succeed in phenomenal way, that's all. You really want to heal, that's all. Because he is the person who can break through anything. He can even break through the karmic blockage of illness. But you cannot worship Kamana, you cannot worship Trivikram. Both the energy 